I am Rachel from the Somerville Arts Council. As you may know, we have a culinary program called Nibble, and I'm thrilled today because we have one of our culinary stars from the Nibble program with us, Robson Lemos. So welcome, Robson. Thank you so much. So my name is Robson, I'm from Brazil, and I start to have this, this cooking experience with Nibble Kitchen, take three or four years ago, sure. right? Yep. And I fell in love with cooking and doing all this stuff, so I'm very happy to be here to present for you the Brazilian snacks. Okay, so what are Brazilian snacks? What yeah, are we gonna make today? We're gonna do something quick. Okay. So first is the pão de queijo, which means cheese, cheese bread. bread. I'm yeah. sure you guys know pão de queijo, cheese bread. It is like the most delicious thing. Yeah, so usually, the, traditionally, they use the tapioca flour, okay. but it's a lot of work. Okay. So I'm easy today. Okay. We're gonna do this flour, this pão de queijo flour, it's already, already with everything mixed already. Okay. And you can find any, any... Um, Brazilian market? No, no even Brazilian, but for even the big store, American store, they have also this. I bought this, for example, okay. in, the, in the big store. Okay. So it is easy, the ingredients is just the, the um, pão de queijo flour. Okay. okay. Four eggs. One cup of mozzarella cheese. So one, and cup, one cheese, cup of water. One cup of water, four eggs, and how much of the? Um, uh, is a uh, five hundred grams. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So first we're gonna drop all the flour. Then we're gonna do the eggs with the spoon. Okay, so you need a, a big size bowl to fit all yeah. this in, mm -hmm. okay? Um, there's a market right down the street from me called the Modelo Bakery, which I love, and they have good um, pan de queijo. Oh, they do? Yeah. But I'm sure it won't be as good as yours. So they, uh, this uh, recipe, you can make 30 of them. Okay. But this all the thing, how big you're gonna make. Sometimes you can make 20 or sometimes you can make 40. So we're gonna do 30. Okay. That can fit all of us. Okay, that sounds good. <laughs> I'll have about 24 and that leaves about six for the rest of the day. <laughs> so I need your help. You're gonna okay. do the water like okay. little by little. Okay. Why I, I okay. start to mix all the Oh you do it with your hands? Yes. That's exciting. Yeah. And in Brazil, that's how most people would make it yes. at home with their hands. Yes. Okay. And now, what region of Brazil does this dish come from? This comes from Minas Gerais. Okay. Yeah, because like they, yeah, you can put a little okay. bit of water. Okay. So um, they have a, a lot of um, dairy there. Dairy right? there because a lot of cows, a lot, uh -huh. a lot of farms. Uh -huh. They do a lot of cheese. Like the capital of the cheese in Brazil is Minas Gerais. Okay. So they do everything with cheese. Okay. And then they create this amazing recipe with pão de queijo. Uh huh. Pão de queijo. What heat would you like it? 350? 350. Okay, it's that. So it usually it's 20 minutes to, to bake. Okay. But it's all depending on the oven. Some, some oven is strong. Okay. So yeah, you put a little bit more. Sure. And then you can do also half of the cheese as well. Okay. Well, I think it's very fitting you chose a recipe um, from Minas Gerais because I know there are a lot of Brazilians here in Somerville who come from Minas Gerais. Yes, Chirais. yes. Yeah, and so this is like, um, it's kind of like making a, a Play-Doh. <laughs> Looks fun. It does. So, um, you're gonna, you're gonna see, notice when the dough, the dough is ready, that's when it's gonna uh, take out of your hands. Okay. So you see. You can put more water, it's kind of dry. Okay. You can pull all of them. Yeah? Yeah. So, the cheese bread, just that's a good thing. You can use the cheese, the, the cheese bread um, with something sweet. Okay. Maybe we're gonna do it today okay. with the guava. Okay. Or you also can, can use something savory. savory. Okay. Yeah, like the tuna. I'm gonna do like a little tuna pate. Okay. You see like how's the dog? You see guys how's the dog? Okay. They start to get out of my hands. So it's very easy to have everything you need to know about how to make right here. So. so when you buy one of these packets at the store, all the directions are here. All That's the great. Directions, but yeah. it looks really easy. So yeah, it's essentially it right. um, four ingredients. It's uh -huh. the flour, yeah. the cheese, the eggs, and the water. And 
how do you how do you say some other things? How do you say egg? Ovo. 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 Okay. Yeah. And is cheese like format? No. Cheese is queijo. Oh, queijo, of course. Yeah. So you see, it's kind of not in my hands. So you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Yeah, let me know if I can help you at some yeah. point. You. I think we were to, to do the box. Okay. So about what size do you take? Let, let, let. I think, um, I think the size is good. Like this? Good. Yes. Is that right? Yeah. Just roll a little bit more. Okay. Make, Make beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing I love about cooking with you, Robson, that you care as much about the appearance as the taste. Oh, yes, yes. That's, that's one thing I learned here in the U.S. is about the presentation. We love pink lemonade because it's pink. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the presentation means a lot, okay. especially because you know I have the big uh, uh, art influence. So mm -hmm. food presentation is everything. Mm -hmm. And it is, of course, a you know culinary arts. It, it is an art form. It is definitely. And so, um, as some of you may know at home, the Nibble program is opening up a kitchen right in the heart of Union Square, Nibble Kitchen. So, um, you'll be able to find folks like Robson cooking and serving food directly to the public. So, we're excited about that. Very exciting. So, we, here to go. is our finished product. We can put them in the oven? Yes. Okay, so we're going to pop these in the oven. Look how beautiful. Cheese bread, Brazilian snacks. <laughs> so you have a cooking time over there, you put like 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Yes. Okay, I will finish that. I'm gonna wash my hands. Okay. So we're gonna wow. wow. We're ready. Let's see. <laughs> I think we can take the first. Okay. If then we leave the other one for two more minutes, so why are we taking good? Okay. Because you want to grab this? Yes. Because some people like a little, a little more toast. Uh huh. So we can take the, the top, top one. Top one. Yeah. Be careful. Yeah. Looks okay. good. Wow. Robson, this is so exciting here. You can put it on this. I have Brazilian cheese bread coming out of my oven. This is like my it's ultimate amazing. fantasy realized. So let's open it into the guava. Okay. It's very hot. Okay. I think I'm gonna put a glove because it's kinda of hot. <laughs> <laughs> Actually we if you wanna do like set one plate with just regular ones. Okay. They look nice. They've um, turned a nice, like, light color brown. Right, yes. Mm -hmm. And now, um, is pan de queijo um, best the day that you make it, or can you keep it for a couple days? I think for just a day. Okay, yes. it's better when it's fresh. Yes. Okay. So it would look like a little guava one. Okay. Clothes that can melt a little bit. Okay. So this, the, this is a nice um, example of sweet and savory together. Mm -hmm. Yes. And for presentation, you can even like a, take a little piece of guava, put it in the microwave, get liquid, and then do like a little... Oh, you know, that would be nice. A little swirl on top. On the, on the plate. Mm -hmm. That makes beautiful. Um, and it's worth mentioning that I think you can get um, these at Fortissimo Bakery in Union Square. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what about the other um, Brazilian market in Union Square? Is it Mineral? Mineral. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, those look lovely. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do like that just to make a, make it look nice. A, a little good presentation. You always make things look nice, Rob. Right? Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's let's show the camera. Let's show the camera. I was sweet on the case. Too bad we can't get a bird's eye view, but it looks very pretty. <laughs> <laughs> and um, then we're gonna do the the tuna one. Okay. And now while you're doing the tuna one, may I sample one of the, the guava ones? 
Why not? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if we are doing a cooking show, this is yeah. an important step. Mmm, that's really nice. Is it good? Yeah. Is it guava? Yeah. I really like, I wouldn't have expected to put something kind of sweet with something cheesy, but it's mm -hmm. really good. You know, also you can do like with a little jelly. Okay. With the jelly, it tastes very good as well. Okay, interesting. Mmm. I'm definitely going to try this and have my friends over. Because, um, <laughs> I think they would be impressed. So let me show the, the tuna one, which is bread with tuna. I think one second. I'm put a little bit on the side that's for me. Before. Do you want a bit of parsley for garnish? Yes, it will be beautiful. So one with two ends in, in the yard, I'm gonna take the other one. Ta da! I'll let you do the placement, Robson. Wow! That looks really nice. That's look. Pão de queijo with tuna pate. You take this one that we can show together. Yes. With the, and with guava. With guava. And what I love about this um, dish, Robson, is that this is um, it's impressive, it's delicious, you'll wow your friends, but it wasn't that hard to make. No. It's four very easy. four ingredients. Yes. I strongly suggest you trying these um, Brazilian dishes at home. Yes. And enjoy cooking, enjoy learning, enjoy the big melting pot with diversity and culture. Enjoy life. Let's cook. <laughs> and celebrate this beautiful summer that's coming right now. Absolutely. Right? And how do you say, I don't know, how do you say, do you say salud? Saúde. Yeah. Saúde. Saúde. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nibble Kitchen.